Good morning, I'm in Donegal today and I'm right uh, pretty much up the top of Donegal in Ireland on Inishowen and the plan today is to climb up onto the Eurus Hills. Now I haven't been here for about five years uh, when I was here before I walked all, all the way up to Ragton Moor and camped up there but this time I'm just sticking to the Eurus Hills. Uh, and I suppose part of that is because it's near the end of November and it's dark about half four so I, I don't have an awful lot of time so the plan today is to do a wee bit of exploring uh, just along the coast um, go up over the Eurus Hills and then camp at some of the really cool wee locks up there I'm just about beating this tide coming in to, to get along the shoreline. Uh, I met a farmer there uh, who was up in the hills uh, looking for some sheep to, to bring them down to, to meet uh, Mr. Ram uh, to make more sheep. Uh, and really interesting, he was telling me that uh, the family have been here for generations and away in uh, about 1900. Uh, a young member of the family was drowned in the beach here and the family have pretty much stayed away from this beach ever since. Just that story been passed down through the generations. And again, um, a, a lot of the family have, have left Donegal and, and travelled overseas to like of Australia. Just that, that story of immigration which to some extent still continues. Uh, but really cool uh, walking along the beach here. Uh, just taking my time and exploring. I've spied some really cool wee uh, camper bivvy spots just uh, along this bit of coast out in the headland uh, and it would only be maybe half an hour's walk from uh, where I parked the car just over the beach so those are filed away for future reference. Uh, a couple of cool wee caves here as well just where the, the part of the sea is eating into the headland. Now this is a view I haven't had before, so that's looking up along the coastline and you can see where um, the line of the Eurus Hills sort of drops down sharply to the sea, so that's where I'm, well I'm not climbing up that bit, but uh, <laughs> uh, that's the, the hills I'm going to be climbing up, but this is really really cool.
you can see a path. Uh, it's sort of the one I've been following a bit, but I've climbed up a bit. Uh, but running all the way along um, the coast there, uh, and that'll go over to Leanne Beach there. So from Leanne Beach to Crummies Beach. Uh, and I did read something online about a, a new path uh, with markers and I, I can see a marker down there uh, but I suppose my path is upwards uh, and, and these hills aren't particularly high, they're just around 400 metres but um, I've always thought they they have a sense of, of more than that, you know, they're, they're quite dramatic uh, uh, and I certainly have a feel of, of being grander and bigger uh, and that's probably one of the reasons why I, I like coming back and walking along them. It's still quite a dull day, uh, still not much movement in the air, though there's really, really good visibility. Uh, I can now see Tory Island, the big sort of jagged uh, cliff line of Tory Island, uh, up to the north of Donegal, uh, out to Horn Head, uh, the whole line of the Derry Bay Mountains, and away to the southwest. Uh, I can clearly see uh, the Blue Stack Mountains. That's Loch Fad, uh, one of my possible locations to camp near. Um, the other one is Cunlock. Uh, it's just on up there a wee bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to walk up along the line of the Eurus Hills and then come back uh, and drop down to the locks and try and get a wee spot uh, to set up for the evening and for tonight. That's lock number two, uh, Croon Lockin. Uh, and you can just sort of see the start of Loch Fad over there, so there's li literally only a few minutes between them. Uh, and once I head up the end and come back, I'll drop down here to Croonlochan and skirt round and see what I can see. Uh, though I'm more drawn to Loch Fad. Um, I think partly that's because I camped there maybe 15 years ago, just at the start of getting into wild camping and it was uh, like a mega adventure. <laughs> it was like away out in the, you know, the, the middle of the Himalayas or something at that time. Um, but we'll see, it's, I suppose the most important thing is to get a nice, a, a nice wee dry, fairly level uh, spot uh, close-ish to, to, to the water. I'm uh, down at Crone Lockin. Uh, no obvious pitch sights from here. Uh, whenever I get down to the side, I might see something. So, again, I'm not sure if it's going to be here or just up a wee bit of Loch Fad.
I finally got a pitch. Uh, <laughs> there was nothing beside the locks at all. Uh, and quite a bit of dander about around the, uh, the locks to, uh, to find somewhere half suitable. So I have a, a decent wee spot here. Uh, the breeze has got up. Uh, it's really, really chill. Uh, really cold in the hands. Uh, so I'll head over to the locks now and get a wee bit of water uh, to get my tea and get my food on the go. It's uh, about 8 o'clock. Um, it's, it's a pretty chilly evening, uh, just there's a steady wee breeze, um, which is making it feel quite cool. Uh, my toes took quite a while to, to warm up after taking my boots off. Um, and uh, I've, I've had uh, tea and biscuits and something to eat, so that's, that's helped me sort of settle down a wee bit. A uh, really good day today in, in Eurus Hills and Donegal, uh, exploring the, the coastline and, and walking some new ground. And as I say, these hills are, are really, really cool. Uh, they just um, uh, have have a bit of punch just for, you know, all the size off them. And absolutely superb visibility today. Uh, I, I was able to see a way up to the Scottish Islands uh, and just that lovely symmetrical shape. Uh, off the Paps up, up in Jura uh, and, and great views as well over, over uh, the rest of Donegal, all the mountains there uh, and east over to the Sparrows. Um, I, I did meet a couple of other people today, I, you know, uh, I met a farmer down in the beach. Um, there was two walkers that I, that I met as well, which again is very quiet for uh, a Saturday. Um, yeah, so I suppose uh, time to get cosy and sleeping bag and uh, hopefully get, get a nice sleep because I'll, I'll be in here, what, probably for about 12 hours I think. Uh, it is the rain later, um, just light rain uh, and, and the wind doesn't increase. Um, so I, I, I just checked it out before coming up with one of stuck up here um, if, if the wind was howling. Um, so yeah, good night and uh, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, it's uh, half eight, so I've been in the tent for pretty much on 12 hours uh, and, and laying in the sleeping bag and sleeping for a good bit of that as well. Uh, I, I was up a good few times as usual but, but I do think I got, I got some really good sleep. Uh, that, that breeze uh, has been here pretty much throughout the whole night. Uh, the rain didn't really materialise. Um, I heard a few wee drops during the night, but not too much. Uh, it's uh, just mist outside, can't see a thing. Uh, but yesterday evening was absolutely, uh, absolutely beautiful. Uh, I could see over Loch Swilly to the lighthouse in Fannet Head. And I could look down to Leanne Beach and there's a wee harbour there, it was all lit up. Uh, and the moon rose up behind the tent uh, and you could just see it through the cloud. It was, it was really, really cool. Uh, well, it was cool and it was cold, <laughs> uh, so I think it's actually warmed up a wee bit during the night just for uh, the cloud and the mist and that wee bit of rain coming in. Uh, so I've uh, I've tea in the go here, which is nearly ready, uh, which will be which will be quite welcome. I'll get my breakfast. I'll get packed up and uh, I'll make my way through the mist uh, back down to the beach.
right on cue the rain come on just as I was uh, packing up and putting the tent away um, but I, I managed to get it all in uh, and not too bad so um, I'll be on my way uh, walking back over uh, the tops of yours hills and then uh, dropping down uh, to the beach It's a lot calmer down here at Loch Fad uh, and really a, a wee bit uh, eerie is, is, is a word maybe, just with the mist and the quietness. Pretty cool though. I'm out of the uh, lovely uh, all enveloping mist, uh, really really cool walking up there for maybe, I don't know, maybe an hour or so, uh, just nice and still, just taking in what's just immediately around you because you can really see nothing else but um, there's a beach just down below so it's just a straight drop uh, right down uh, along to the beach and back to the car so uh, very moody today uh, mist over all the tops, either side of Loch Swilly. So the walk was actually a wee bit longer than I thought it would be, uh, nearly 15 kilometres. Uh, you can see the clouds starting to clear up, up along the tops that I've just been over. Um, so a, a lovely wee micro adventure, um, just getting out and coming back to a, a lovely, lovely spot in the Eurus Hills, walking some new ground here, uh, and while camping up near Loch Fad. Again, uh, and again, that's something I haven't done for maybe 15, 20 years. I think I have a photo somewhere. Uh, if I do, I'll, I'll, I'll sort of add it into this. Um, yeah, it's just really, really cool to be out. Haven't been out maybe four weeks or so, and sort of getting a wee bit of withdrawal symptoms. And as you can see from the tash, it's November, uh, and one of the things. Uh, are one of the reasons why I go wild camping is just uh, that it recharges and re-energizes uh, my emotional health and well-being uh, and I think that's the same for a lot of other people that I that I see that make these videos especially men uh, the women as well but mostly men uh, where this actually does something really positive for their for their health and well-being so uh, something to keep on I think yeah so uh, I'll see you again